something to rev you up as gas prices go up. A future with faster, cheaper, and more efficient car batteries. The kind that help you drive gas-free and electric. Electric cars are cool largely because they don't use gas. But they run on batteries, which are very expensive, so most of us can't afford them. Envia Systems is trying to change that, working in the lab with chemicals to create, from scratch, a better, cheaper battery. Envia's aspiration is to cut the cost of the electric car by half. That's Envia's CEO, Atul Kapatia, who says his company isn't just building on what's already out there, it's developing new battery cell technology. The cell is as good as the materials inside the cell. So what we are doing is we have reinvented all the basic components of the cell. And we have reinvented to have more energy in the cell for less weight. A combination the company hopes will lead to less expensive batteries and therefore less expensive electric cars. Of the 35 employees at Envia, 30 are engineers. That's a lot of testing, cell by cell, and a lot of science going into the car of your future. This is just a storage tank. Battery is nothing but a storage tank. What really makes it better is the materials that goes inside the battery, not the battery itself. It's technology developed and manufactured here in the Bay Area, aiming to bring a longer lasting, cheaper charge to the next round of electric cars. Envia is getting funding for its work. General Motors has put $7 million into the company. The federal government also providing Envia with some startup capital. Jessica will keep you posted on their work. Okay, thank you, Scott. You New tonight at 6 o'clock, only a matter of time. Silicon Valley has developed a car that, look there, drives itself. This one created by Google drove right up to the steps of the state capitol in Sacramento today. The reason a state senator from L.A. wants the CHP to start testing the robotic cars. He says most accidents are the result of human error and self-driving cars could improve safety. He also doesn't want California to fall behind in the technology on the road. Uh, laws tend to be very reactive to technology. Uh, over the course of history. Automobile technology was turn of the century back in 1900. Uh, the first few years developed the first models of vehicles. But it wasn't until about 12 years later that America was introduced to the stop sign. The prototype will cost about $200,000, but the creators promise the car will get cheaper eventually. Senator Padilla says the self-driving cars could be on the road by 2020. A bomb threat delayed a plane.